Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So a question we get a lot is, I've gone into projects, I've found a project I like, but I like the image, I don't like the project. How can I find the image? So if we go to projects, and I'm just gonna click on this very first one here, let's say I like that cat image, I can click on that. And if I scroll down to the bottom, it will show me the images used. Now it won't always show you because sometimes they're not images. They are drawn or created specifically for that project. However, some of them will have the actual images. So for example, if I click on this one and I click on the number, it'll take me to that image. I can then click on the three dots and select view image sets and it'll take me to the entire image set so that I can then see similar images. So again, if I liked an image, so for example, these ones here, I could click on the project, I could scroll down and if they're available, it will give me all of the images used. I can then select the ones that I like. So for example, these blocks here, It'll take me to the image. I can then select the three dots and view image sets. And I can see the entire image set. So all of the images that are connected to that one that I've selected. Equally, I could choose a project, for example, like this one here. And I could scroll down and then not be an image, which means that that image has been specifically made for that project. But what I can then do is go to customize. I can ungroup it all or detach because it's currently attached. And I can get rid of the envelope and the score lines just by deleting them. And that will then leave me with the image. I can then go to save and save as. And I could give it a new name. So for example, I could call it um, Chinese new year tiger draw and I could then save that in my own projects once it's saved all I need to do is then open that project and I could then go to images and I could type for example card and I could find a card template that I like and I could then make that image into a card or put it onto a box or do whatever I want with it. So it does give you with the projects lots of options to A, be able to find images, but B, actually take an image and turn it into something else. So don't feel that when you see a project that A, you have to do that image with that project and B, that you can only find that image in that project. There are other ways to find that image. And of course, if the image is not available, then you can just take the image from the project, save it, and then you can create whatever you want with it. As always, thank you so much for joining me. If you've got any comments or questions, leave them below. Give the video a thumbs up. Give the channel a subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And thank you so much. I'll see you all again soon. Bye.